Hello everyone, Cataclysm BTD6 here, and today we're going to be doing episode 17 of the Ascension series. If you haven't watched previous episodes, just hit the link in the top right corner and check them out first. Today, we're going to find out how long you can survive in Bloom's Tower 6 with only $1,700. The rules are simple. I can only spend up to $1,700, no more. Monkey knowledge is allowed, I'm not allowed to use any continues, and the challenge ends when my lives hit zero. Now that we've got those out of the way, let's get straight into it going to head directly into challenge editor and begin a new game. So I'm going to place Churchill in a slightly different spot this time. Last time we placed him in the top left of the square but I think it would probably be more effective if we placed him in the top right as his shots would end up landing over here and in essence hitting the balloons at two spots on the track which I think would be more useful. We've placed our free dart monkey so I'm just going to place our sub in the bottom corner and begin. Shockingly, we've made it to round 40 without actually anything being a problem so far, so I'll just activate Churchill's ability for the mob. And we basically have only had to activate Churchill's ability once or twice, and even then it wasn't necessary to win the round. So, even though I'd say we're doing about the same as last time, I think the addition of a sub and a better Churchill placement will allow us to at least get to the mid-60s. Churchill is absolutely sweeping through round 49, and I only have to activate his ability at the start just to deal with the Sramex a little better. Looking at these mobs, again, Churchill doesn't even need his ability to deal with them. Churchill's only problem is that there is a lot of dead space on this track. See, his range is this large, which means this entire upper right portion, in essence, is around 10 to 20 seconds where balloons can just regrow. So if a balloon was a yellow going into that, it could almost reach Zebra at that point, which could cause a massive regrow farm if unattended, so I'll have to be a bit careful about that. Coming up on the end of round 54 here, we have quite a tense situation. The mob is almost at the exit, and I oh, fine, I'll activate the ability. We lost our pre-game prep and uh, 22 lives, and it probably would have been best to save the ability for this round as there are going to be a lot of black and zebra balloons, but hopefully Churchill and the addition of the sub can deal with those. If not, I mean, the ability timer is quite short, so we don't have too much downtime on the ability. We should be able to deal with that mob, hopefully, before we just die to the onslaught. Yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. Round 58 looks a bit sketchy, so I'm just going to activate the ability here to be safe. Hopefully it's still up when the mo pop- yeah, okay, okay. We almost lost there, but luckily Churchill's ability is quite good. Round 60 coming up here. I think we may get two to three abilities out of this round. Hopefully that's enough to deal with it. Churchill does- I can't pinpoint exactly how much damage he is shooting quite fast, but it is a lot, so hopefully the BFB isn't too much of an issue. It wasn't last run, so I don't think positioning should matter too much, especially considering it is a mob and not a wave of balloons. Yeah, that's pretty good. We may have to activate it a third time for those zebras and black balloons, but other than that, we should be okay. We may not even have to. Okay, we certainly did, I should have. That That's on me. <laughs> we lost a few lives there. Activating the ability here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we didn't die in round 61 like last run. Although, saying that seems a bit like a premature celebration. I'm going to slow down. Oh, no. Okay. 
that's been dealt with, but this MOBA is still terrifying, so luckily the ability was up in time to deal with that. If there's ever two rounds in a row with regrows, we may unfortunately lose, and well, that's just a bit unfortunate. Although saying that, I now realise this is two rounds in a row with regrows, and we are most definitely going to lose. I mean, the ability just came up, and there are fortified mobs. Churchill may be out of his depth here. <laughs> oh, this is just unfortunate, because we are not going to pop those two, regardless of the time the ability comes up. Hmm. Ah, oh, unfortunately, that's it. Round 62, we've lost. We did get one round higher than last episode, so, I mean, that's at least something. I may toy around testing some different Churchill positionings and different timings for the abilities on different rounds, but unfortunately that does conclude episode 17 of the Ascension series. If you still haven't checked out the previous episodes, why don't you go ahead and watch them now? If you have, why don't you go ahead and subscribe so you can turn notifications on and be notified every time I upload. That's all from me today folks, till next time, goodbye.